Today we're gonna go over an easy but super effective exercise on guitar. I call it the one, two, three, four exercise, but I've heard it go by a bunch of other different names. So what we wanna do here is we wanna get good control of our fingers and rhythm both with our fingers and with the guitar pick. So the way we wanna start this exercise is we wanna start it on like the seventh fret. I've seen some people start it over in like the first fret area, but the frets are fatter there, so it makes it a little bit harder, especially for beginners. But we start more like the seventh fret area, maybe even a little higher if you can. Frets are a little closer together, it's a little more comfortable. And we wanna start with just the bottom string. As you can see in the tab here, we're gonna do the fret number seven, eight, nine, 10, and then repeat, seven, eight, nine, 10. And below, you can see in the red are gonna be our finger numbers. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So the secret to this is to keep our fingers down as we go. Seven, eight, nine, 10. And then repeat, seven, eight, nine, 10. Notice I'm not lifting my fingers as I go. I keep them down, because I don't want kind of a roll like this or anything. And what I'm doing with my pick is I'm going down, up, down, up. So it's down, up, down, up. When you can get that nice smoothness to it, that's when you know you got it. You don't want like a staccato-y bump, 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 like. We want smooth, we want smooth. and trying to keep your rhythm as you go. One, two, three, four. You don't want like one, two, three, four. Speed is not what we're looking for here. We're looking for consistency and we're looking for nice connected notes. When you get that bottom string sounding really good, then we change strings while keeping our rhythm. Seven, eight, nine, 10 to the B string. Seven, eight, nine, 10. And again, with our finger numbers, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna demonstrate that for you here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you wanna to try to go back and forth. So you can go E string, B string. Back to the E string. Keep my pick going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And when you have that one smooth, you guessed it, you can add another string. Up to the G string. Then back down. And you can go back up and you'll go up and down, up and down, up and down. Every time you get another string sounding good, you add another, add another, add another. And you keep doing that process until you can get from the bottom to the top, back to the bottom. So there, I did a little faster just to demonstrate. If you're a beginner, you still wanna take your time, make sure you keep out of that one, two, three, four, going up all the strings, down maintaining that rhythm, because that's an important thing, maintaining the rhythm. Playing fast doesn't necessarily mean good, because if you're sloppy playing fast, you're just teaching your fingers to be sloppy, and that's harder to fix later than if you just did it right the first time slow and everything sounds nice and smooth. Speed will come with time and practice. Just be persistent. Once you can handle going up and down, up and down that seven, eight, nine, ten 10 area, that's when we want to travel down the fretboard. So let's say I started from the bottom, working my way up, seven, eight, and when I get to the top, I'm gonna go backwards one fret. Seven, eight, nine, 10, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, and continue to work my way down. Let's fast forward, I get to the bottom, six, seven, eight, Six, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. When I get up there, I'm gonna go back to the four, go down, go back to the three, go up, until I can do it all the way at the first fret, one, two, three, four, 
and then work my way back up to where I started going one to two to three to four. That gets pretty hard because every time you move back, the frets get a little further. So you may want to take your time instead of just traveling, say you're having trouble at the fourth fret. Instead of trying to travel from there to there and go back to the beginning, just hang out at the fourth fret and do your one, two, three, fours at the fourth fret area until you have them nice and smooth. And then the third fret area. Until it's nice and comfortable and then you try that traveling. Just remember, if this is your first time doing an exercise like this, it might take more than a couple of days to get it down. It might take a couple of weeks, maybe even a couple of months. Just remember that practice is key. Stay consistent, keep it sounding good, and it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when it'll sound good. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you want to learn more guitar, subscribe. Just have a good time and happy practicing. <laughs>